and to think. LSU actually had a dilemma at the beginning of the season. They couldn't decide who the quarterback was going to be at the beginning of the season because the racist ass, shitty ass white fans that's cheering right now didn't want a black quarterback. This is what I tell you. Hey, pay attention, Daniels family. Pay attention. All those white motherfuckers that's cheering for him right now, that's the same ones that's going to call him all kind of niggas. The moment they turn on him. Oh, they love him right now. I told them at the beginning of the season, your best chance to win was Daniels. They tried to, they tried to anoint this white kid, some random fucking white kid who never even earned it, just showing up. And he just threw white skin on the table and said, I'm going to be the quarterback. And the LSU coach was like, okay. And I sitting there saying, you know, the, your best chance of winning is this black kid. That's your best chance to win. But if they can do it without us, they're going to try to. And then they get their ass embarrassed. And then they realize you can't, you can't do this shit without us. You know why? Black life matters. Black life matters. As much as you hate us, guess what? When it comes to this worthless ass football shit, black life, hey, you hey, black life matter. It's mattering today. You don't have a white boy that can do that. Nowhere on LSU football team. There's not a single white boy that can do that shit. Nowhere. And they hate that. Because I told them, I said that Joe Burrow shit was lightning in a bottle. That was a, fuck it, it was a hurricane in a bottle. That shit was a leprechaun. It'll never ever happen again. So whether you want them to have it or not, they're gonna have black quarterbacks because they are the most athletic. Okay? That shit with Joe Burrow is not gonna happen again. This is your best shot right there to get a national championship. Because black life matters, motherfucker. <laughs>